But, you know, in actuality, what keeps me from coming forward to him is just like, oh, what if he says no? What if he, what if he's still hurt? What if he still wants to hurt me again? Um, you know, what if he, what if he's moved on? What if he just wants nothing to do with me again? What if he just, you know, flat out rejects me? If he was listening or if he was watching, yeah, he should know that, that I do miss him. And I, I think about him pretty much every day. And I thought that, um, you know, being, throwing myself into my, into my work, my, my music and, and trying to escape from it in every single way possible, um, would, would help the healing process, but either the healing process is happening fast enough for me, or I'm just kind of so overwhelmed by the relationship that I still can't get over it. Um, because none of that's working. Um, pretty much everything around me reminds me of him. It's not a coincidence that um, he, he he used to listen to this artist, um, Tovlo, and um, he used to listen to her. He used to listen to her a lot. Um, he used to listen to the song that's popular on the radio now um, a year ago, you know, maybe two years, maybe a year and a half ago, um, Habits, you know, Stay High, um, and that song is about getting over a relationship, and, um, you know, he would listen to that song a lot, and would tell me about this artist, and I think she's Swedish, and, um, you know, it's not a coincidence, he used to be always the type of person that loved to be on music that was the stuff before it got really, really popular. So, um, you know, he, uh, it was no surprise that that song did become popular. Um, you know, it's popular now. It's just, it spoke to that connection that he has with music. That's really what it is. He has a really, really strong connection with music. Um, it, it spoke to that, it speaks to that, that the song is really popular right now. It's in the top three across the country. And he was listening to this song um, a year before anyone even knew who she was. And um, I can't even listen to that song anymore. Um, I'm not even going to sing it. <laughs> but um, things like that are what remind me of him. And, um, I'm kind of fucked up, you know? I'm kind of fucked up because, you know, here I am, you know, just trying to do my best to get through my days. And, you know, I know all that stuff I said about doing something towards your goals. Well, today, this is the only thing that I've done, you know, that's toward that goal, possibly, in in a in a remote sense. Um, you know, I try, I try just you know typing up some lyrics. I try getting up the nerve to, you know, record something like do a demo, and I could, I couldn't because I knew that the song that I was writing had vestiges of my feelings towards the relationship. You know. And not necessarily, and that's kind of the perspective that I that I've been writing from, you know, ever since the breakup. You know, it got me so angry, it got me so mad, it got me so tight that you know I could I needed to do something with this energy, so I had put it into my rhymes, and I put it into my songs, and um, you know, the the thing about music is once you put it down somewhere, it's forever. It, it's not a passing thought anymore. When those thoughts become words and those words manifest into things like songs and productions, well, now, you know, if it ever gets out there, well, you have no control over where it goes, who ears it reaches, but it's out there now. 
and you kind of gave birth to it. So you have to own up to it. That's the thing about music. And that's why I guess it's so cathartic. It's so healing to people when they do it or when they listen to it because then that connection is built. But for the person that made it, you know, a whole lot of things could be going on. And um, I know that I, I, I really don't know what this could do, you know, if I would, you know, if I were to be that honest about it in my in my music. Um, I don't know how I would feel about it three, five, six, you know, decades from now if I listen to it again. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Especially about a past relationship. I don't think I've ever written about one before, about being in one and how it feels to be in one and, you know, what kind of feelings you get after you're outside of one. I've never done that. So if I were to go back and listen to it, I don't know, because it depends on where I am in life.